Hello guys, in this video you will learn how to import audio voice into Plotagon Story or Studio on a mobile device. Stay tuned. Welcome back. This video was requested by one of my subscribers, who is also a patron member. If you wish to join our academic class, the link is in the description box below. Alright guys, if you notice my voice is totally different from Plotagon voices. Note, all this is done on a phone only. So, watch to the end to learn all you need. The following are the application software you need. 1. Plotagon Story or Studio 2. Text-to-Speech Apps In this video, I use Audiolab 3. Any editing application In this video, I use CapCut Once you have these, let's proceed Alright guys, so from here now Once you've inputted your, your text Just like the way, the normal way you input your text Okay And the next thing now is to Try to what we're trying to aim at is to get our audio being words added to this. I mean, your text to speech audio files or your AI audio files. Okay. Now, from the option given to us by Plotagon or mobile device, you can actually import your external audio files into Plotagon. You can't do that. Okay. But there's a way to do it. All right. Now, let's click on this. So first, once you are done with your final editing on Plotagon Story or Studio, try to go to navigate to this icon here to save the video. Now, export with subtitle, okay? Because we will be uh, doing some things that will need the subtitle. And also, you might decide not to even use the subtitle, but for simplicity's sake and to catch your audience attention, I dis I advise you guys to go for subtitle. So export with subtitle. So you need to give it time for it to render. So once it is hundred, then we will continue the video. Alright, now we have a save video, so we click done. Okay, so from here we can just uh, minimize this app. We are done with that for now. So the next one is for us to go on to our, that is our speech. But before I do that, I need to get the write-up back again. That means the write-up that was used. So this is write-up. So let us copy the text. Okay. Because one of the reasons why you are doing this is because you actually want your text or speech app to synchronize with what you are saying. So that's why you need to copy out that speech you have actually want uh, used in Protagon Studio or Story. So click on Audio Lab. Okay, so on the Audio Lab here, uh, we need, um, so I'm making use of Audio Lab Pro, okay? So for normal Audio Lab as well, you download on Play Store as well. You can as well use this. It is available for uh, for normal version as well. So click on text to speech. Then I will just paste what I have here. So once I paste that, so I decide to use different language. Okay, so language from this place. I decide to use different language that I prefer okay then once i'm done with that you could just test all what you have here and uh, let me see from here you can decide to use this okay and play it hello guys in this video you will learn how to import audio voice into protagon story or st so you can as well uh, change the pitch of the uh, of the audio. Hello, guys. 
guys, in this video you will learn how to import it actually depends on what you want, you can as well switch to another one so there are different uh, pitch voices and sounds that are available for you to use Hello guys, in this video you will learn how to import audio voice into Protab and Story or Studio on mobile device Ok so, uh, that is it now once once you are done with that, you need to just uh, save the video that is save the audio and by clicking on this, then it will ask you to give it a name. So you can thus rename this here. So once you rename it there and you can use that as a music, okay, make sure it's set to music, then select create. So once you've created that, the next thing to do is to open up a uh, CapCut. So remember I said you can use different type of editing application for phone users. But when you are comfortable with what you try to work is what you can use. Okay. So here is the video I created initially, which I will not show you guys. So select this. So for you, you have to press create and stuff like that. Okay. So it says, let me try to add that audio. Okay, let's see. Okay. Since I'm creating something new, let's let's use let's create a new project. Okay, then from the uh, video added, which is this, the protagonist video that I just did, which is this. So we select add. So once you select add, the next thing to do now is since you have the audio already, so you can just select add audio. So I'm looking for, so you can add audio though on text to speech here on our um, CapCut, you have the ability to input your 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 text. This and that option again, which is very powerful. You have the ability to input your text, and right the one we did the other time, select it done. Then from here, you can this is done. So you can uh, decide to use any of the voices. Hello, guys. In this. And you can see it has different voices you can actually use. That is cap calls can also do that. Hello guys in this. So if you use this, okay, then it marks said your text should be automatically split into separate captions. Okay, so you can decide to uh, split it and not split it. Okay, but this will be another video from that day. All right. Now, the video we the audio file we added initially, the audio file we wanted to add. So what you have to do is to uh, is to try to import the audio files we have initially. Okay, so if we click on files, then it said extract audio from video no from device. So yeah, you can, once the video you exported, I mean, you've exported this, I did not wait for it to load as well. So if I have waited for it to load, you will see it there. Okay, you will see it under this place. You will see it under this, uh, under this section where you have device, or you can also type the name of the audios you want to use are you with me so all these are my call records so far with people my phone do record when i uh, call when someone called me okay so that is that is that aspect and by venture you want to use extract an audio from a video you can as well use this that's extract audio from a video then um 
let me use this one let me use this one because this one was when i did that was summer okay as well so let me just extract this audio file from this video so i hope i'm not convincing you guys so if you've exported that video from the exported audio from the audio lab or you've downloaded your audio file just try to locate where you download it are you with me then you should be able to uh get it right hello guys in this video you have to import audio voice into Polygon story or studio now here is the uh the extracted audio already so if i click on add already now you see it here it is on that so if let me play this together now hello guys in this video, video you are so you notice you are listening to two audios so if i mute this first one let's click on this and click mute so I'm, and i play this hello guys in this video you will learn how to import audio voice into Polygon story or studio on a mobile device stay tuned welcome back this video was requested by one of my subscribers, who is also a patron member. If you wish to join our academic class, the link is in the There are some times where you notice that uh, probably the audio is not in line with the subtitle. So there you can now cut and fill. Okay? You can actually cut and fill it. That means, for example, let's say I notice that from here, I'm having issues with when he says, no, this is okay. In the class, the link is in the description box below. All right, guys. If you so, for example, I just want to adjust it. Then I can just click on this and select split. Like I said, any audio, any audio, I mean, any video editing application you are comfortable with to use. You can use it okay but i prefer CapCut to do that because it has many features okay so then i can decide to now what does this one I can decide to just adjust it a little bit in order to match the voice that i am actually what that i'm actually seeing on the screen okay so it's it's as simple as that and it is very very intrusive so once you are done, then you can just click on export and you have your video exported. So once you have that, then you should have something like this. You have something like this. So you see it's exporting. You can see this is exporting. You have something like this. You have something like this. All right, guys. So I hope I was able to give you the tips and trick, okay? In order for you guys to know how possible is how possible you can import audio files into Protagon Story. So, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I really appreciate. Thanks for the comments. In case you have any question you want to ask please can you leave your question in the comment section below and for those of you that wish to join our academic class you are free it is free for you okay you are free to join our academic class and there's a lot of benefits you gain once you join our academic